today's video i'll be showing you how to use lens flares in your designs like this and lens flare is just an addition of effect to your designs to make it add a little bit of spice and to make it pop you don't necessarily have to put it but it makes your design stand out and I already have a video where I used um, Pixel Lab to achieve this and today I'm going to be showing you how to do it, the step by step method of how you should do it alright um, so I open Photoshop and I will just choose an existing project that I'm going to use for this effect I'm going to use a dark um, background and a bright background for this so once this um once this um image loads like this i'm going to show you exactly how i use my lens flares So one thing you should know is that most lens flares come in um, most lens flares come in black and with a black background and majorly with the um, majorly with the lens flares on the background. So I have a couple of lens flares here which I've downloaded. I'm going to link them in the description for you to download. Okay, so um, this is a lens flare and okay this is actually prismatic lens flare this is a prismatic lens flare it's not it's not actually the main like lens flare that you know those ones are actually uh is it a sun flare effect i, I don't really know sure but okay so this is the lens flare i'm going to be using so i like to use my levels adjustment so that it becomes darker but don't take it too far sharp just make sure it's in a reasonable amount here like this so the next thing you want to do is as you can see it's on a black background and you cannot use it like this so to get rid of this black um, background you see here there's a blend mode you call screen there's a blend we call screen. Now what screen does is to hide the black pixels in this image and then review the brighter pixels. No, you can try to use um, um, your selection filters to remove this, but at the end, it doesn't always really come out well. These are to come out and you don't want this for your, for your design. So, let's go back. So if you want to separate the brighter pixels from the darker pixels, the blend mode to use it's called screen screen now you can see is there you can see how it's adding that effect to the to the design now inversely if you want to bring out the darker pixels from a bright pixel you are going to multiply so screen is the opposite of multiply so either screen or darken screen or darken i can see, see some part of the you can see that there's it's transparent that bright um, part is transparent but the dark part is still showing so that's not the effect you want to use you want to use um screen sorry not overly screen now what you can do next is to position this in a way that it doesn't really block the design but it's just adding a feel to it now where i position this one is far okay like this the leak here is nice it's really nice it's really nice and there's a flare I put here also by the side of our by the side of our cheek here now I use a hue and saturation layer to actually change the color this is the original color of the of the design of the element now if you want to use um I'm going to try to use a darker project to show you um, this effect um, let me see let me see this um, project let me open this up to show you
okay so this is a darker project and i'm going to import another um i'm going to import another element so i'm going to import this element inside the inside the design let me just make the background brighter so you can see the effect this one adds to it also if i put it i want to pick it up i want to pick it up to come from where the um bird is coming from so i want to make it like this now as it's here like this now i i will use um i'll use layer mask to hide it from where i don't want it to be like here here and on top of the logo like this now i can also drag this here to this place like this and then transform it transform it i can use um this to transform it let me just change the okay something like this now let me just transform it you want to make sure that no sharp edge is showing inside it if any sharp edge is showing you can just go ahead and just go back to your layer mask and then hide it so something like this something like this is far okay but i don't like it there so i just like it up so i'm going to delete it so you can see how the lens flare has affected this design now um we can also go back and add more if you want to or you can just use one that has many of these effects to cover like this one now now if i change it to screen you can see that um the main the um lens flare has this like is a bit brighter than the background how you know is that when you look at when you look at this and this when you look at this and this you can see that sharp separation so what you want to do is to hit ctrl l on your keyboard and then drag this slider so that those white areas will completely go away so when you drag you have something like this don't over drag it sharp so so after dragging it you are going to see that you are left with the flares already just like this so you can position them well this one is far okay for positioning i see a sharp edge somewhere so i'm just going to clean it off like this i don't need it here so i'm just going to leave it like this and you can see the difference that the lens flare adds to to the design then there's still the common um flare that many people use The common flare that many people use, I'm going to just bring it up. Um, sorry for the noise on my background, Sha. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to put this up, and you can see it's screen blend mode that is going to bring out this uh, this flare. You can also use it on now as it is like this now. If I hit Ctrl plus U on my keyboard, I can go over to my hue and saturation layer and then change the hue and saturation of this. I can change the hue and the saturation. This is the saturation, the amount of color, and hue is the color value. So I change the hue and the I change the hue and the um, saturation of this, and then I can place it somewhere. I can place it somewhere on the design just to add a little bit of light to it something like this so now i i can scale this up because i don't want that sharp light at this peak here to show so something like this and then you can see how we move the design from from being flat you can see how we move the design from being flat like this to actually having a little bit of spice like i call it to it and yeah that's just how to use lens flares with your hue and saturation with um photoshop okay if you have any questions or any addition you just go to the comment section and put it down for me and also comment what you want to see next in the next video i just want your honest reviews just leave a comment down below so that i know the kind of videos i'm going to bring it out for you guys and if you love this video also do well to comment about it you can also support this channel with the link in the comment section if you want to support this channel 
um, so that I can continue dishing out valuable content for you all. I will place the link in my description for you to support and show love to this channel. Alright, I will see you in the next video and till then, peace out.